are you guys doing today thursday is here wow we're just hanging out and i think i'm just gonna go live because why not here we go boom we don't have a ton of time today unfortunately but let's get things going how you guys doing dino alpha prime brad Terran bug out m390 trev edc knife and tool hello knife people says trevor what's up EDC Nevin Tool says Brandon is the real number one dude. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see here. So I just posted the snack time sling review video. This right here. And it is looking so good. I did swap out some of the patches from the last stream, but just wanted to do a first overview. Got a lot of time with it over 4th of July. I think it was like five hours with it or something like that i don't know it was, it was a long time so far this thing is pretty much the king of all slings didn't mean for that to rhyme but you know uh let's see serial hobbyist says i got zero in my pockets right now what's in my pockets can't get it out of my pockets what is that, that that's a zod oh my god dude it has like hair on it Cat hair? Let me, let me just wipe this off real quick. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Is that? Ah, uh, there she is. All of her glory. Um, I also did get the tool in for Southern Grind Spider Monkey. This thing is amazing. I was able to finally take it apart because of these stupid proprietary hardware screws. And I polished the crap out of the washers. Who who here knows how to polish washers? I'm just wondering, just staying hydrated. Cheers. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Let's go. Jonathan says, did you see a drone show for the fourth or just fireworks? Um, we just went to fireworks parked in a parking lot, a mall parking lot, and then sat on top of the rooftop tent. It was great. I loved it. And we got some elotes, elotes, the corn, you know, it's, it's good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Brad saying, bro, I need that sling. Send it to me, Brandon, so I can do some shots. <laughs> this is the only one I got, Brad. I need to do my shots. Uh, Trev says, I was about to watch it. Then you went live. I'll watch it after. Yes. Do it, dude. Appreciate you. Yeet feet. Hello. What's up, bro? Crispy donut community is in the house saying, hey, fam, what's up? Brad saying, I missed my Zon. Got the synapse in me today. In you? You mean on you. <laughs> Thoughts on leather slings? Um, leather isn't really my thing, to be completely honest. So this is like perfect. This is the perfect sling. Best sling bag that I've used. Bar none, like literally. If you guys watch the video, you'll know the comparisons and everything with the other sling bags I have. Pinch made bailout and side piece. Yes, nice. Slay Nugs member for five months. Look at you, five months just dropping by to say hi. What's up? How you doing? Uh, Eat Feet says, if I'm going to pick up my first bench made, which one should I get? Uh, there's a bunch of them, man. Honestly, like uh, I'd probably say like the, the bailout is my favorite, the M4 bailout or the oh, oh shit yes alan coming in with the 199 super chat with no comment dude thank you so much man i appreciate you i would probably say the mini freak the super mini freak or the bailout those are my favorites in that, that price range elotes is bomb yes they are it's a serial hog yes semper texas what's up what's up taryn says i just scored a left-handed zon i'm so excited damn I don't even, I don't think I've ever even seen a left-handed Zon. Word choice, <laughs> says Brad, yep. Hi, Titan in the house. What's going on, Brad? Good evening and happy weekend, says Ginger Fisher 75 dude. Thank you. 
it's, it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a great one i mean we had a short week anyways that's why i posted my video so late sorry about that guys um silly nux says off to work on a 30 page paper holy crap have a good night silly nux. jonathan says i watched the usa guinness world record for over 1,000 drones making pictures in the sky here here in fort Worth. that's crazy dude Trevor, EDC Knife and Tool also says five months already. Feels like yesterday, dude. Thank you so much for being a member for five months. That's crazy, bro. We got a lot of five-monthers in here. Uh, Le Leaxis says, what do you think of four-layer Swiss Army knife and titanium scales for EDC? That's not bad. I mean, with everyday carry, you can literally carry whatever the hell you want. And it's functional. Um, hi Tide, good evening, Brad. Miss all of your guys' faces. Yes. Oh, Alan oh, coming yes. in with another 499 super chat, and he has a comment this time. What's a better knife, the Vera Impulse or the Chavez 229? Really want one. Can can you help choose? I love tie scales and premium blade. You, my friend, need to pick up the Urban Minimalist. Just do it. I actually bear down on the pocket clip with this thing <laughs> so this this swoop right here was a little bit too high so i just pushed it against my countertops upstairs in the kitchen and then brought this down quite a bit and it's actually feeling a lot better but this is the urban minimalist my knife design it's in the same price range and you're talking high end with titanium scales next next week is that next week we're going to be announcing the full tie version because right now there's a Sagaiha, there's a black g10 and then a black micarta version this one is going to be available next week's drop i believe don't call me on that i think so if matt is here let me know bro but <laughs> yeah this thing is chavez malibu-esque some really nice bearings and just very, very straightforward. Uh, compound grind, of course, is going to happen to that blade grind. And then a pocket clip is going to be changed. Thickness might change a little bit, but Alan, do it, dude. I, I did a full video on it. There's a link in the description. Go check it out. And thank you so much for the four. I appreciate you. But I mean, to answer your question, Impulse or 229, that's a hard one. Um, I haven't handled the newest generation Impulse yet. So I think I had a second or first gen Impulse. If it was the first or second gen versus the current 229, I'd go for the 229. But if we were to like mix it up and go Synapse, if it's as good as the Synapse with the Impulse, I would probably steer more towards Impulse than the 229. We'll just have to see. I mean, yeah. There you go. Oh, Dick says, what type of knife has the same curvature as the Wii Civivi Thug? So that would be a compound Tonto, right? Um, let's see. Let me see if I can pull this up for you guys. I think it's a compound Tonto, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Compound Tonto. So compound means that this area is a hollow grind. And then this is a flat grind. So when I say that we're going to be doing a compound grind on <laughs> Urban Minimals, it will oh, be. Yes. Oh my God. Alan, with another 199 Super Chat. I like it. I like that. Never came to mind. Thank you, dude. You're welcome. And thanks for the 199, bro. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, so this is the compound grind. I mean, at the, let's see. Uh, Tonto. Here is a Chavez 229 Tonto. And it's a compound Tonto grind. Tonto, Tonto compound grind? There you go. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Uh, can I change mine? Hello, all says Trevor. <laughs> Contact Urban EDC. They might they might hook you up with it. Um, are you gonna do more pew pew EDC content? Maybe in the future. I mean, that's not really my thing on this channel, but possibly. I don't know. 
Uh, Odig says the shills finally got stocked in. Microtech updated Benchmade Civivi Giant Giant Mouse and better cold steel. Yeah, mine did too. I, I noticed that. I went over the shields last weekend and they have Microtech in there now, which is surprising because Microtech has problems with like Cobra Tech and like the knockoffs. So I'm not sure if they made a deal with that, but that's pretty insane. YouTube hates 2A. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. That's why I'm like, eh, maybe. Got my paycheck. Definitely enough for anything. What would you suggest for Microtech? Well, there is a Bounty Hunter UTX-85 chilling on my shields. Like, shelf. That's probably what I would say. Hi, Tidy C says a Merbin Minimalist. Why, why are we calling it a Merbin? Um, minimalist M390 full tie. Exactly. Yeah. That's going to happen. Uh, do, 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 do. Ton combo grind. Wait, what? <laughs> Alan, I, I brained it's the Chavez 229. No brainer. Wait, what do you mean? What, what, do you, what are we talking about here? Um, I got my first snail trails on the hyphen. Or you, you guys can kind of see it. It's right there. Yeah, yeah, I was helping my dad with some yard work, put it in my pocket, scraped against some stuff in my pockets. Hyphen is kind of wrecked at the moment so uh what else is new um i've got a vero fixed blade on the way the axon fixed blade as well as the synapse xl i think they're both hand hand rubbed finish or hand satin as i call it uh the fix is going to be a black micarta and then the synapse xl is the carbon so expect to see a review on the synapse xl here within the next few weeks and then possibly the axon fixed by so that's gonna be fun Merbin was a joke on live stream chat a while back yeah having another knife sell soon possibly i mean i get so many in that I like literally sell things to make room. And I could just buy like a bigger husky thing, but, or I guess full chest, but I, I don't really need it right now. It's not what this like. Um, Don Tonto plus Compo composite grind. <laughs> What are you even talking about? Oh man, Chris. Ola, what's up, bro? Miles, howdy y'all, what's up, bro? Easy knife and tool. Hyphen is a great knife. Small trails means you use it. Yeah, exactly. And using it is not a problem. Like, I, with some of my knives, I beat the hell out of them. Usually my Zahn, where is it? My other Zahn, I, I used. This one is still yet to get a ton of snail trails, but yeah. My Anthem? Where's my Anthem at? I think my Anthem's over here. This thing gets used a lot too. But the Anthem, the scales, the handle, the handle, because it's not a scale. The integral handle, just it, it puts up with all the stress. Like you can't really see a ton of wear or anything, but I used the crap out of this. I've sharpened it a few times. I guess, is that, is that a mark right there on the handle? No, yeah. Hello, camera. No, uh, yeah, right there. See that tiny little speck? That's a mark. We have to do it because we have the anthem. for dinner every day alone today. <laughs> no, we're, I, I don't know, probably make some steak, some chicken. I don't know. That's probably what we're going to go for. Um, oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about the Tonto composite grind CR. Wait, what? <laughs> Such a pretty knife. Another killer knife, the Anthem. Yeah, the Anthem is insane. Uh, 
if you can find one, get one. I tell you, when they were discontinuing it and they were on sale at Play HQ for like 350 bucks, I told everyone and their mom to pick one up. Whoever did pick it up now has a 700 to 800 dollar knife at the bare minimum. So sucks to suck <laughs> now you have to pay secondary to get one because they're discontinued and the value of it is just going to go up because they're they're not on the market period and it's the best bench made ever made odix says just spotted a ferrum forge knife works as zelix kind of like the compound tonto i was looking for yeah or not nah. um what is that Sixty bucks. Um, not really a compound grind on that. It doesn't look like, at least. Is it though? Dude, these these photos are horrible. Is it D two? It it reminds me of the Mordax, for sure. I can't tell if it's a compound grind though because it's so pixelated. It is a compound grind. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It's D2, though. I mean, that's a... Eh? It's kind of an eh for me. I'd probably pick the Mordax over that any day. Mordax is not a compound grind. But, uh, you know. Hmm... Let's see. High Tide says, I like the Narrows, but it is in somewhat of a grail territory. Production knife grails as far as pricing goes. Yes, it is. And, I mean, I, I don't know if you got the chance to handle one at Blade Show when we were there, but the Narrows is pretty damn good. I mean, if you're looking for something extremely feather light, it's solid. Daniel says, hello from Texas. Hello. How you doing? Odig says, just made a friend who is willing to sell me the Kaiser Pelican Mini Titanium. Should I go for that? For how much? Let's see. It's probably has 35 yen. Yep, yeah, it is. For 109, I mean, it is buy it new. I don't really like the swedge. Like, what's going on here? Is that a thumb ramp? What is that? I don't know. So, I mean, yeah, they MSRP'd at $240, but you can buy for $109 right now. Oh. I mean, if it's like $30, bucks, go for it. $50. Bucks. High Tide says, do you have a Griptilian? Google AWT Griptilian scales this completely changes the knife in a good way. I know exactly what you're talking about, and I don't have a grip. Um, I've, I'd, I've owned several 20 CV Griptilians, but they just never stuck. And AWT, AWT scales are pretty dope. I still need to pick a pair, like a pair up. It's been a year since I said that, but... <laughs> you going to Blade Show Texas 2024? Possibly, probably not. I mean, my goal with all the Blade shows is to at least visit every single one once. And we have a Blade show that comes here to Salt Lake, which is a lot more chill. It's in my hometown. I'm like literally 15 minutes away from the convention. So maybe we'll see. We'll see. There, there was a, it was a lot of work at Blade show, Blade show and Blade show, Texas. I get burned out as well, but with Blade show West, here in Salt Lake. It's just so much closer, so much more convenient. I can dump all of my footage onto my desktop and edit off of this. Shout out to Zydex. But yeah. Blade Show West is going to be the one that I am definitely going to. I'm not sure about 24 or 2024. So Texas or Blade Show, Blade Show. We'll see. I, I mean, it was fun meeting all of you guys. If you if you definitely want to meet me, meet me without me running around the place with my head chopped off, West is the place to be. Um, High Tide says, can't wait for West, dude. Yeah, West is fun. 
it's so chill it's so relaxed and you get to meet a lot more people in my opinion um in a more i guess intimate way so you know, hobbyist says you've probably answered this a thousand times but can you take apart an integral knife yes you can the anthem is actually really easy it's extremely easy to take apart you literally un undo that one pivot screw and then pull back the axis lock take the take the blade out and you're done i mean it's i haven't attempted to do the actual coil spring axis lock yet it doesn't really need it so mm. integral knives are easy to take apart generally uh oh digs tomorrow's new release for Civivi and potentially we is looking lit i still haven't gotten a Wii knife yet any suggestions on that yeah this one right here is my favorite Wii knife at the moment this is brian brown Wii knives trogon and this thing is clean balen has the full flat tie version god i wish i picked that up this one is upgraded with skiff bearings so skiff bearings inside this bad boy just very drop shotty very clean it has no play whatsoever it's amazing sounds dangerous being able to run 15 minutes and drop off all your crabs kind of want a mini malice with the damage still okay do it the mini malice is pretty dope um but yeah this one's this one's definitely my favorite from Wii right now the Trogon. it's just too clean and brian brown is an amazing amazing designer it's kpl seeping out of the pivot there we go is it clean now there you go now lube up your knives with some kpl guys use code edm to get 20 percent off i think <laughs> Trogon is a great price too, exactly. And the milling on the scales. Wow, can you guys see that? Look at the milling, it's just very fine milling. And it feels great in the hand. I love the jimping that happens right here. It's not too sharp at all, actually. It's not too small where it's unusable. It feels good. And I've carried this multiple times. This is just a good knife to use. And because of the the hyphen is the newest one in the collection i've also been carrying this around hyphen is dope i mentioned this on the last stream but it's weird because there's only two screws that hold this entire thing together and that's going to be this body screw with the barrel backspacer and then the pivot those are the only two screws that hold it together there is no backspacer or anything like that normally there's a screw that goes right there with the backspacer but there's nothing but um yeah guys i mean i, I just wanted to hop on for a few minutes and uh, chill with you guys is there anything else new that i need to look at i mean you guys are going ham <laughs> with all the new stuff i'm just like what is that So is it just me or did that bag he showed in last video sell out in five minutes it is a really damn good sling bag this guy right here they sell out quick and um the pre-order pretty much sold out there's 75 of these being made i'm not sure if they're holding back any but as i mentioned in the full-length video for this thing that i just posted we need to buy more of these in order for them to fund more of them. So we'll see what happens. You know. Show us that sling again. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. That's inside it. Can you guys even see that? You guys can't even see that. There we go. Boom. What a junior. And then there's some snacks in there. I came here for new stuff too. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff coming out as well from Benchmade, and I I can't show you guys until 
they are released, but there's, there's a lot of new stuff. Oh my god. Okay. If you want to play that game with me. Got a snack out of the snack time slink. What's your favorite style? Tactical, classy, intimidating, or flashy? Me personally, I'm looking for a full tie for my Lova watch. Clean. That's what I like. Just clean, solid action, premium materials. That's what I look for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the same. Titanium, great design, 20 CV blade steel. Titanium, S45VN, very simplistic, minimalistic, if you will. So yeah, there you go. That's my style, I guess. Something that's too busy is not something that I enjoy a ton. Um, Hi Tides is the black notorious AGP with orange guts and orange what a junior will fit will fit right in the sling. Can't wait to do it. Yeah. Fits in here, no problem. Favorite G-Shock series? I mean, I have a lot of G-Shocks, but they have been since retired since I got the Apple Watch. So I'm probably gonna get an Ultra sometime. We'll see. I wish spring knives weren't illegal here in Canada. I would def be collecting Run 5s and Malibus. Malibu is not an automatic, just so you know. The Run 5 is an automatic. Those are CA and California legal. G still for the win. There you go. It looks like High Tide knows a little bit more about <laughs> the G Shocks than I do. I'm not up to date on them whatsoever. Uh, one of their new things that I ever show you guys this from Arc Company. We got some MCB wallet organizers. MCB standard or larger organizer. Got the small organizer, also MCB. And then the large wallet organizer. Shout out to our company for sending this out. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I think I've shown them off to you guys before, but there you go again. Do I have anything in the mail? Should I go should I go check the mail real quick? I think I might. I might go check the mail. Let's see if we can do a live unboxing. Let me go look because we won't have another live stream until next Tuesday, so. For you guys in the chat, entertain yourselves, talk to each other, hang out, do whatever you need. I'll bump up the music for a second and I'll be right back. Give me like three minutes. Oh, yes. Oh, 
Terran, welcome to the Minimalist Club. We got one package in. <laughs> this isn't, isn't anything special, okay? We'll open it though. And we got... Okay. Bam. Some skiff bearings. And I needed the five mil pivot version. So that way I can just upgrade whatever Riot knife I want. <laughs> skiff bearings are just a really simple, inexpensive upgrade that makes the action of your knives very nice. Like I said, this guy has it. And we'll do this real quick. Where's my rule at? There it is. We'll swap in the skiff bearings for this thing. So see that, see that? Okay, so that's a before, and then I'll end the stream, but that's a before. Let's just, let's just do this real quick. And in the snack time sling, we've got my bit driver. Let's just do some more maintenance. Why not? <laughs> More pre-sales coming soon. Los, is that you? Is that you, bro? Thanks for dropping by. Oh my God. Am I on the wrong side? I am. I forgot if this is show side. Yeah, show side. You guys did an amazing job with the sling bag. Pre-sales coming soon, guys. That means that you better go sign up for their email. The, secret, the super secret club newsletter. That way you guys can get in on the snack time sling. Um, okay. Like I said, Data Crew is not paying me anything extra to rep that sling bag. I just really, really like their products. So of course I'm gonna try to do my very best to help them out. I don't have any affiliates missions or anything like that with them either so okay all right so i am swapping out the bearings um let's clean it up a little bit every pouch they sell is out of stock paul yeah because they're really really good um that's just the name of the game when it comes to, I guess, not not mass-produced product. The stuff that's made in the USA is gonna be hard to get. Best pocket knife cleaner and blade oil. I use KPL Knife Shield and then KPL. Okay, so we're gonna swap these in. These are five mil. 11 ball bearings um can you guys even see that oh my god i don't want to don't drop it don't drop it there we go bam much nicer um do i have kpl down here where is my kpl i always lose my kpl hang on there it is this thing over there on set I love my What a Junior pouch, but I wish it was a little taller because a lot of pens don't fit. Yeah, I mean, the AGP is good for full size pens, but what I found is the Tactile Turn Bolt Action Mini fits perfectly inside of What a Slayer. That's actually the prime reason on why I picked up the Bolt Action Mini down at uh, Blade Texas this year. Slab this blade back in. Boom. Put more KPL in the pivot. Hold up, guys. Bam. Put this skiff bearing on there. A little bit more KPL. Doesn't hurt. And then we're going to slap this scale back on top. Sometimes I'll put it on the uh, detent ball track. 
but unnecessary at this point. You can always apply it when the knife is assembled anyways. Okay, we're just gonna go easy. So why am I holding this and doing it? I'm just gonna do it on the desk so we don't lose any screws. Hope it breaks for the weekend. Wait, what? You want to? You want me to break my moolah? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. So before adjusting that, oh yeah, that needs to be tightened down hard, man. What's going on here? Backing off. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit less. Oh, the centering, centering is good. Oh yeah, yes. She's back to its glory. This is the Mula. If you guys have never seen, I don't really show this a lot, but the Mula, it's one of my OG favorites. And Balin got this for me for Christmas. So it's... These bearings might need to break in on that track, but all good. Yeah, the Mula is just so clean. Like, look at this thing. Very minimalistic design. Oh, Jesus, man. Okay, okay. We're having a private conversation, I know. Okay guys, well I think that's gonna be good for the Thursday stream. Um, next Tuesday, possibly, unless I'm doing stuff. Again, notification bells on. Oh, last thing, I made a thread. Do you guys know what threads is or are? Threads? Thread is a new social media platform that Twitter is using to combat Twitter. Or Facebook is using a comment on Twitter. And it's in collab with um, Instagram. So I think I'm gonna be posting just randomly there, like throughout the day, just random text, random pictures behind the scenes stuff, which is pretty nice. I did have a Twitter account at one point. Well, I still do have it, but I just don't use it. So if you guys want, go follow me on threads. It's every.day.minimalist. You can also go to my Instagram and then there's like a little tag ID there. This is like an at symbol. Tap on that, go to my threads, follow me there to see some behind the scenes content and then also maybe some early bird stuff. I don't know, who knows? I, I want you guys to interact with me, answer the questions that I put up. And um, aside from that guys, thank you guys so much for dropping by. Go check out the Snack Time Sling review from Data Crew, and we'll have to catch you on the next one. Have a great weekend.